Hey guys, I'm at the beach at the moment at West Home, my local beach. Um, I'm all mic'd up, so hopefully this is clear because obviously we've got the sea behind me. Amazing light, which is actually making me look very golden. <laughs> Godlike. <laughs> um, I'm just doing some shots here in the grasses with the Velvet, uh, the Velvet 56 got on there at the moment. Um, I've got a filter for 1.6, obviously because of the light coming in, but it's that like beautiful golden light. I'm just picking up the sort of the macro um, of the sand and uh, the shots coming in between the grasses. Then I'm going to get myself down, down to the, uh, the sea, do some nice slow-mo stuff and blurred out. When I sh before I go down, I'm going to switch to the Soul 45 and sort of get in with the grasses and do some distortion on the edges, um, which is what it's beautiful for. So basically, yeah, this is what we've been filming. So with these lenses as a manual, when you're doing film, part of the trick to it is if you're doing movement shots, like, like literally you're going in or out to shots, the trick is go to what you want in focus first, lock the focus in on the lens baby, and then come out and do the shot. So you know it's gonna go into focus. Otherwise you're gonna be sort of like messing around with it all the time and it's gonna be in and out. Um, a lot of people say, you know, with photos, you'll, you'll sometimes get in or out of focus go into where you want it focused, lock it. I've actually got a, a focus assist on these, mirrorless cameras, and then I can basically come in and I know it's going into focus or any side shots. And I know it's always gonna be in focus all the time. Top tip. Right guys, one of the biggest or smallest things when you're doing film with lens baby, not photography, but you will, photographers will use these in a different way, um, uh, variable ND filters. So I'm on the Velvet 56 at the moment. I've got some amazing gold light coming in. Uh, it's just after sort of sunrise. But I want to then change the, this sort of the style lens to a 1.6, a two aperture. I want to get these really stylish shots, which these lenses are, are just brilliant for. To do that, there is too much light coming in the lens. I can't just flick the shutter because I'm on a, on a film, you're on a set shutter speed. So I add one of these babies. So this is a very big filter from Gobe. Um, it gives me an, to an ND2 to 400. So when I attach it, the settings stay the same, but I can control how much light comes in with these. Your lens is only as good as the glass you put on it though. So the, the couple of pound ones, these can go up to hundreds of pounds. So I'm literally just down at the sea level, guys. Um, I've put an ND filter on now. One, because when you're filming the sea and the white of the waves, that really makes it hard to get the exposures right. Um, I am on currently uh, F2 on a slow motion shot at 200 frames. Um, and it's just beautiful, the effects it gives. I'm gonna push to 1.6 in a minute to get that glow, but the shots it gives at, at 2 and 2.8, it just gives that sort of just dreamy really dreamy look on it um you do have to play a little bit and having a mirrorless camera you can have the focus uh, peaking which is really handy because it comes up in yellow but yeah basically those those sort of glide shots um and just the at the moment i'm focused on the, the rocks here and it's just blurry seeing the background it's beautiful Um, so what I'm going to do now, I've got sort of the landscape shots. I filmed about five, six to eight for the landscape stuff. 
still actually give me that really nice definition background. And I switched to a filter and went to about two. I didn't push to 1.6 too much because just because of the water just blew it out a little bit too much for me. Um, I'm going to switch to a Sol 45 now and I've been looking for distortion shots. So when the, when the tide takes the water out, I'm looking at filming that ripple effect where it's dragging it, then distorting all the sides, give it a bit more of sort of a angry, traumatic feel to it. Um, so yeah, we're going to switch lenses, grab this one off, turn the camera around, because everybody says, it's lovely filming at the beach, filming at the sea. Nobody says that. It's horrendous for photographers and videographers. You've got sand in the lenses, you've got sea spray, which is horrendous. So I'm not going to give it a blower because I just did a minute ago. But never face the spray. Never go down to the sand when the wind is there because you'll just get grit in the sensor. I'm on a Sony mirrorless camera, so you uh, Canon, uh, Nikon guys probably won't have that as much. So we've got the Sol 45 on. If my video person just comes a little bit close here. This is the Sol 45. Um, you can lock it so the distortion is in centre or you actually have aperture blades how cool is that that basically i can then move the focal planes where i want it and uh, it creates this Right guys, I'm on the Sol 45, um, just doing a little sort of scene. The centre is locked to the left, which means everything in the centre of the film or the shot is, is focused. So it's not going to distort to the top right, top left. I've locked in the centre to do a test shot um, and I'm locking in. Right, one big difference between the Sol 45 and the Velvet 56 is the Sol 45 is a fixed 3.5 aperture. You can't change it to 1.6 or a 16. So at the moment, I haven't got a filter for, I think it's like a 42 or 46 thread filter. I haven't got that. Um, thank you, Amazon, for not delivering that yet. Cheers. Um, so at the moment, I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit and change my shutter speed. So you'd want filters on these because if that light comes in and blows it out, you can't just change that to like a 3.6 or a, a, sorry, a 5.6 or an eight. So at the moment, the light I can just get away with, I'm about a one exposure over. So if you're new to lenses, guys, when you focus, if I'm looking into the distance now, you focus in planes, horizontal planes, so one meter across, five meters across, it's always in planes. So anything in that plane is in focus. What this little beauty does is lets me distort on a part of the plane. So just the top left, and anything from this bit, it's, it's crazy. Watch this. Right, guys we've just finished filming at the beach um, we've used the Velvet 56 and the Sol 45 which I showed you earlier probably the biggest thing about today today was just like a spear of the cuff get out get two lenses get filming the one thing with these lenses you have to work like, there's no touch screen focusing um, I've got wet feet I've got a numb ass I've you know you literally but it's good it's good fun you you, you move a bit that one inch up, down, left and right can give you such a different picture, such a different film than no one else is doing. That's what the beauty is. That's why you're seeing people use these lens babies. Um, I could easily set a tripod up now, go on my other make lenses and, and focus out. But, you know, you're looking for stuff. You're looking at feathers, you're looking at seaweed. Um, the light's coming now, so you're changing those settings all the time. 
it just makes you work and have a really different experience of videography or photography. So check them out. It's, it's going to get me in a minute. Um, check it out. We're actually going to move on now. I'm going to get some, some woods and stuff. So I'll create this video, see what you think. Um, have a watch. And if it's on the YouTube channel, subscribe, hit the bell, get notifications. I am going to try and do this a lot more. Um, have a good day. See you later.